real quick, I would show you guys an issue that I've had with my 24 RBS 2018 Jayco. Um, we got a e E2, I think it is, uh, weight distribution hitch and equalizer on our Ford F-150. And for some reason with the new hitches on these trailers, um, I don't know what they did. I am not pleased at all with the trailer, it, like the base of the trailer. I guess it's called the chassis. But um, where the safety chains hook up, it is in the wrong place. And today we are going to be hooking up our trailer and taking it down to a professional hitch shop. Even though this chassis is still under warranty, uh, we just are not happy with the location. We've taken it into the tra uh, where we purchased the dealership where we purchased this trailer and they wanted us to position our weight distribution hitch in a way that did not look safe at all. So we're going to take it to a professional and have the whole situation assessed, um, probably remachined so that we are safe going down the road. So this is our rusty mess that we have with our hitch on our brand spanking new Jayco. Not happy at all. And as you can see, the weight distribution cut right into the chain. Uh, we did get one of these um, heavy duty and you can see that the weight distribution cut in. And this is just with general turning. No sharp pivoting or anything. I mean, this to me is unacceptable. Yes, sir. For the dealership not to address this with us is completely unacceptable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our weight distribution um, hitch assessed for appropriateness with this um, hitch that we have and possibly move this back here on to here somewhere in here they know the they'll know the location but uh, we're gonna get this repositioned this is unacceptable Jaco this is very bad for y'all not to um, address this and there is no recalls on these hitches and as you can see a 2018 just over the winter I have got a ton of rust at the welds, and we're going to get this checked out, like, back here, and it goes all over, all down the trailer. So y'all with new, new 2018 Jayco's, um, check it out. We've got issues with rust. I don't know if maybe I got um, a bad trailer, but this is unacceptable and I hope someone from Jayco sees us just getting into my trailer as you can see rust at all the little moving parts to me that tells me in about four years not even four years at this rate because Mind you, this is a 2018 Jayco. Um, this rig is not going to last. All these moving parts. And you can see at the welds how it's rusting. So, I don't know what they did to these rigs, but this is not safe. So, needless to say, before we go full time, I think we're going to be getting a different brand of trailer. This is 24 RBS. Okay, so. 
Just in case anybody's curious, these are the manufacturer dates. It's on the inside of the cargo hold door. It's a little white sticker made by Jayka. It was manufactured on August 21st of 2017. So I know the exact date that this um, trailer was put together. So the 21st through the 24th. So if you have a Jayco um, 24 RBS made within this manufacture date time period, uh, leave a comment below and let me know your experience with your chassis of your system. Do you have as much rust problems and do you have any chain problems? Thanks. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. We got our rig back from the hitch place and they did a fabulous job. They checked out our weight distribution hitch and there was nothing wrong with the positioning of that weight distribution hitch. It happened to be that the eyes that hold the safety chains were placed a little bit too close to the coupler on the hitch. Um, so I wanted to show you guys real quick the fix that they did. Um, it's a really strong fix and I'm very happy with this. Yay, so this is what our setup looks like now. Uh, I'm so much happier with it. They did a fabulous job. I think the chains are a lot sturdier. Um, definitely a little bit longer so that they'll reach to the truck a little bit better. Um, let me show you real quick what they did is they mo they took off the eye that was here and then they welded this chain at this location. Um, this will make sure that the hitch will not, when we're turning, will not cut into those chains. So I'm extremely happy. This post, this YouTube post is not so much as to slam Jayco because we did purchase this um, 24 RBS Jayco um, due to the fact that Jayco has long standing had an extremely good um, quality product. And um, again, this was manufactured. It's a 2018 manufactured in August of 2017. But um, I just was curious as to what happened with their rigs. Um, in the Jayco groups that I belong to, there's been a lot of talk about how these brand new rigs um, through the winter in storage seems to have accumulated a heck of a lot of rust. People are having a lot of rust issues with these units. And I was just wondering if anybody else has had similar issues or maybe if Jayco knows what the heck has happened. I absolutely love the layout of the 24 RBS. I just am not pleased with some of the craftsmanship in um, some of the areas. But this is a major safety concern and I'm just trying to get this out there so that people can check their units. Um, definitely if you've had a safety chain issue please post be below and also um, please don't drive your rigs without uh, your safety chains intact as um, it can be extremely dangerous if your rig were to come unhitched from your truck. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful to someone. Um, it's a very big concern. I was going to do a campground review this today, but I just feel that this is a little bit more important due to the fact that it is a safety issue. And if you have a 2018 or if you got a Jayco, please get out there and check your chassis. Um, when you're restocking, um, if something doesn't look right, get it checked out. Um, don't, don't risk it. Last year I saw quite a few trailers that had flipped over 
um, or have been in accidents and um, and safety chains are are unnecessary. Hey y'all, if you find this informative, please click the subscribe button below. It will help my channel. Please like the video and share it with one of your friends that you care about. Safety cannot be shortchanged.